Welcome, this is item number 32 from the release spring 2014 test items for the 7th grade TCAP math test. The question says, Mrs. Valdez is planning to drive to her cousin's home. Uh, this table shows the relationship between her average driving speed and the total driving time. Which statement describes the relationship between X and Y? It helps to know each one of these things. If you see the idea of it being directly proportional, um, it means the numbers at least should be going up one's going up and the other one's going up. So they should be increasing, increasing, or decreasing, decreasing. You'll notice that as these numbers go down, they're going up. They're going up by 10 every time. On the other side, this, they're decreasing. So the number's actually going down as opposed to up. These are going up, so it's not directly proportional, regardless of whether it's proportional or not. From here, inverse, uh, an inverse would mean that one's going up and one's going down. And as you can see, the numbers get bigger, the numbers get smaller. So that's possible. So I'm going to put a little star next to this one to say it might be this one. Uh, the relationship between x and y is linear but not proportional. Linear would mean that it changes the same amount every time. So, And what changes every time, by the way, is the amount that's here uh, that has a divisor to what's being changed over here. So if I have 2.5 and then 1.5 and then 1. You'll notice 2.5 divided by 10 is going to get you what, 0.25 and then 1.5 divided by 10 gives you 0.15. They'd have to be the same number every time in order for it to be linear, so C's out. A's out. The relationship between X and Y is not linear and not proportional. So this is possible as well. We're going to look to see if it's inversely proportional, and if it is, we have found our answer. If it's not, it's the last one. How do we test to see if it's inversely proportional? Well, the relationship is, or the easiest way to tell, is simply by looking at creating a ratio for x's and then y's and just looking at what they give you. So for instance, on uh, this one, I'll do 40 divided by 30 because you're supposed to go with the one that's a little bit further along, and you get four-thirds. Now if I do 7.5 divided by 10, I get a similar looking answer. So 7.5 divided by 10, and I'll probably have to convert it into a decimal to get a feel for, or a fraction to get a feel for it, and then I'll have to simplify this one because I forgot this calculator loves to maintain every thing on earth. Okay, so that's simplified all the way down and I end up with, if you could have seen, three-fourths. So, hey, wait a minute. This is four-thirds and this is three-fourths. Hmm, that's something. So let's try the next one. Uh, 40 and 50, sorry about that. So 40 divided by 50 will give me 4 over 5. And if I use my calculator to do uh, sorry, I should have done 50 put up by 40. You'll get 5 over 4. If I use my calculator to do 6 divided by 7.5, shockingly, you end up with 4 fifths. Hmm, interesting. Let's do the last one. 60 over 50 gives you 6 fifths. 5 over 6 gives you 5 sixths. So you'll notice every time I've created a ratio, when I work them, when I set them up, they're the reciprocals of each other, so they flip over. That's an inversely proportional relationship. Right there. So the answer to this one is B. So if you get lost, first thing you want to look for is direct versus inverse. If the numbers are increasing over here but decreasing over here, it's probably at best an inverse relationship. It can't be direct, otherwise they'd both go up or down at the same time. To do proportional, it's easier if it's direct proportional because you could just do the proportions across if you want. So just this times this should equal this times this. But when it's an inverse proportion, you'll have to create a ratio for x's and then ratio for y's and just look at them. If they're flipped over, the fractions are flipped over, it's inversely proportional. So if you can remember inverse proportion means make a ratio and compare and if they're f you know flipped over, you're in good shape. 
Uh, a little bit more of a difficult question there than some of the others, but once you get the terminology down, not that difficult to get correct.